A circus normally includes animals and clowns and disappears within a couple weeks, but Karen has turned the everyday into their own circus, playing the part of clowns and animals all by themselves. And the worst part is, they ain't going anywhere. So we might as well make the best out of a bad situation and enjoy the chaos they bring with them every time they leave the house. And better still, enjoy them for a whole hour. Karens can be on either side of the till, as this clip shows us, but there's nothing quite as satisfying as watching this manager put this Karen in her place. Take a look. I'll turn this into corporate. That's, that's just, that's not right yeah. there. Yeah, this, this Walmart you right here. You turn me into corporate. This Walmart, yeah. Because unless you're spending money, uh -huh. we don't need Christmas. Oh, we not, I'm not spending money? Am I Because uh, I'm black? Uh, what do we do? Because I'm black. This group of people tonight I've had to chase away because they think Walmart is a playground. And what did I do? What did, hold on, hold on. Let me say wait, this. What did wait, I do wait. to make this a playground, yeah, ma'am? What have I done to make this a playground? to come in and browse. And backpacks? They don't, they don't, they, I asked them if they take their backpacks. And did we, did we have a problem? You can't assume. No, no, but wait, let her talk, let her talk, let her bear herself. No, it doesn't. I asked them to take their backpacks out and they I will not have him treating me like that. If you don't stand up, you got superiors to answer to. No. No, you take care of him. No, oh, Mary, okay. I'll take care of you. No. Wow. Oh, this you got superior stances. What? He will not to you. treat me like this. No, I'm the customer. You're the worker. Spend money, then. I'm the customer. Mary. I got money. More money than you make. What you talking about? Kevin's racist freak out here just highlights how much of a coward he actually is. Maybe next time he should try confronting someone his own size. What's your f***ing rule, right? Red girl, red girl. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're f***ing right. You're always f***ing right, aren't you? You always do f***ing right. I know you need to get out of my face. You're a f***ing idiot. You're a weirdo. I'm not weird. You are, very. No, I'm very you're rude straight. for nothing. No, you're, nobody say nothing to no, you. You're rude. So don't be disrespectful to me. You're rude because you're like... For what? Because you're black. I don't care. I'll be black. No. And what's the problem? What you gonna do about it? The problem is, is because you're gonna take about advantage of being black. What you gonna do about it? How many you take advantage of being black? 649. Me? Yeah, where are you? I'm beneath you. You're what? I'm beneath you. Why? Why? You're supposed to be equal. I'm white. Why? I'm white. I'm white. Six forty nine. I'm white. So why are you beneath me? We're supposed to be equal. No, 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 no. I'm white. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you, you feel said, that? No, you said it. I'm so white. why do you feel that way? Oh no, 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 no. Because no. nobody would disrespect no, 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 you. So don't come up here disrespecting me. We're having a personal conversation. We didn't do anything to you. You were alone. We were stopping our conversation because we heard you yelling over there. No, I can't. We didn't say anything to you. I said shut up over there. For what? What are you being disrespectful? I'm not being disrespectful. You are over, over there talking about shut the f up for what? Because what you are speaking loudly about s*** you don't know. So what do you know? I know a lot. If you have an opinion, why can't you just say it like we were? We weren't arguing. We weren't cussing no, each no, other no, out for anything. Not so if you have an opinion, you're not you can say it. All I did was ask you, no, what did he come from? You're trying to say facts. And what was the fact? You're, you're saying facts. What was the fact? Obviously, you listen to the news. What was the fact? I'm oh, listening. Okay. Okay, Leticia. What's your name, Leticia? No. Shaniqua. Shaniqua. No. What, what's your name? What's your name? 649. What's your name? See? My name is Jack. Yeah. Yeah. White. What's your name? White piece of what? shit. For what? For what? Why are you beneath me? Why are you beneath me? Because you're black. What does that have to do with anything? Because you, you are still a human. You, you believe just like I do. Guys, so what's, what's the problem? Well, no, because you guys all want your you racist? That's what you want? You're racist? Oh my god. So why are you saying black? Why are you saying something black? My grandson. So you're beneath him? You're beneath him? You're beneath him? You're beneath him? Are you beneath him? I'm asking you. You brought it up. You said I'm black. That's not my name. That's not my name. You come the down. You're sitting there talking about shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. You're being sneaky. No, I'm not. That's not my name. And what are you, John? What are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. Sorry. Ooh, you do this. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Anyway. You know what? Your total is 649, man. You are exactly what the people think you are. And so are you. Redneck. So what are what else? Redneck? Yeah, you're red. Your neck is actually red. Yeah. It is, I know. It is. Because you have an attitude for nothing. No. Nobody was disrespectful to you. Nobody no. did anything to you. I wasn't rude to you at first. You came over here talking about telling us to shut the fuck up for what? We're having a conversation. I'm asking him as him as him as his opinion. No, yes, I will. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. When this Karen doesn't get the help she requires in her local store, watch how the situation takes a massive turn for the worst.
This Karen seems to believe she's got the authority in the gym. You can't tell someone to stop laughing. Just ignore them. I'm sorry, what did you say? When you laugh like that, you're so loud, you made me jump out of the skin. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That's okay. You're just Are you scared. okay? Yeah, no, I'm scared. Just okay, scared. I just want to make sure you're okay. No, no, I'm, I'm, I can't hear you because I have my headphones no, in. No, I know, but when you did that, I was like, oh my god. I didn't even notice I did anything. When you laughed. When I it laughed, I did what? Loud. Oh, because it's echoes in here. I'm in yeah, the gym. It it's going to echo. Loud. Yeah, at the gym, it's going to echo like that. <laughs> like, like oh, <laughs> it's like going to do that. Yeah, it was much louder. Just scared me. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, but okay. I can't really help how I laugh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm not telling you. I'm not complaining about how you laugh or how the way you laugh or whatever, but have consideration for other people. Respect, honey. You're in the gym. Yeah, take my picture. Hello. Report me. What happens when a Karen encounters another Karen, I hear you ask? Well, this clip captures the results perfectly. Take a look. Kevin didn't realize how quick karma would turn around on him when he insulted a disabled bus passenger for taking too long. This bus driver deserves a raise as soon as possible. Respect to the driver defending disabled passenger. They say that inside every adult, there's a child, but in this Karen, there's a toddler who won't get off the ride. I said we're ready to ride the ride. We're excited. No. Get off the ride. Hello? So everybody's going to wait for you. Okay. I'm not running the ride until she gets off the ride. Because I'm excited? Period. Period. I don't want to hear nothing until she gets off the ride. Yes, Karen. Everybody's going to have to wait yes, until Karen. she gets off the ride. Period. What have I done wrong? I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. Where have I done, guys? I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Do you? 
Karens always try to play the victim card, and this one is no exception. You won't believe what she accuses this shop owner of. You attack me. You guys attack can I, can me. Ask, can I, can I, can you ask it. No, no, no. Shush, get out of the shop. No. Get out of the shop. Why? Get out of the shop. Because you're just talking nonsense now. Get out of the shop. Why? Are you the one with the shop? No. Now See, I go. Hey, boss man. Now get I, out. Don't even talk to me like that. I can talk to you Why like you that. Why are you recording me? Yes, Why are you recording me? To because... see my body, my face, your yeah, country, and sell me like yeah, that in yeah. your country. Oh, you that's, why you you, that's why you recorded. That's why you recorded. Because races, that's what get you out. guys do it. Yeah. That's why you go. That's why you recorded me. You yeah, have to, yeah. That's illegal, you know. Yeah. That's illegal, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, record someone, yeah, and there's a camera in your shop to prove the person is in your shop because I'm you going to complain go of his recording me, yeah, and this is illegal. Leave the shop, please. I'll leave the shop, but I'm gonna record it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I yeah, got evidence yeah, with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shush. What the hell? What's wrong with these people? Watch this Karen's freak out at the airport. I'd hate to know how she'd react if the airplane lost her luggage. <laughs> This Karen has the audacity to ask this guy to move his car when she's the one with bad parking. Whoever let this woman pass her driver's license test should be fired. But <laughs> I can't park my car. My daughter has to get in. He I, won't move his car. I, so my daughter has to get in. Move it. You parked it too close. You, you. Yeah, you, 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 you do heard you, me. Do you, do you, when you open that door, you get she do this a lot? Car. Is she okay? No, she's fine. The car is parked too close to her car. Do you see your tire? You Let's get serious. Let's get serious. Tire. You see the line that you separates these? Tire. Now come over here. Come over here. Come on. This is just for fun. This is just for fun. No, come here. Look. Just for fun. Look. And then look at this. Look, your tire is right on that white line. You're, you need to stay within the lines. So do you. So do you. But look. Look, I'm perfectly between the lines. Look. Oh. I'm actually hugging this side a little too much. Yeah. Karens will try to get their way anywhere, even at concerts, when this Karen tries to jump in front of these poor people who have patiently waited in line. Random lady pushed so many people to get to the front and security kicked her out. Hallelujah! I feel sorry for this Karen's daughter. No one should have to deal with a Karen as a mom. Everybody knows all your faces and what you do to my daughter and her friends. We have a lot of evidence. What do we do? What do we, what do, we do? You're going out my daughter right now. Call the f***ing police. No! Call the man. No, 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 no. Yo! Call them now. I want you to see my face and know what you do to my daughter. What do we do? No one You're abusing my daughter. What? How? How? Did I, did I, hey, hey, hey. Ask, ask, ask her. She does. She tells me every day what these boys do to her. Do it. Uh, I don't know her. You don't live here. Six of you, and you're going after me right now. But I'm literally. You don't live here. No way. But I've hung out with her. Remember at Roxbury? Hey, let's walk away. Yo, let's walk away. Let's walk away. Watch this crazy Karen's freak out at a whole pack of strangers. She must have some level of confidence. Have a look. And you know what Tina does? Mind her business and just hold her own. Why don't you do the same? You know why I don't do the same? Because I don't think it's funny that other dog owners, like yourself, think it's okay that you think this park is your backyard. It is not. Keep that thing on a lead. It has no recall and it's nasty. It might be very sweet at home, maybe, but it ain't a cute dog. It's not welcome in the park off leash and being cute because it's not cute. And maybe you're not used to somebody coming up to you, putting their dog back home and finding you back in the park and calling you on your behavior. But let me tell you, I'm not call you on it every time I see you doing it wrong. I know you don't give a shit. You're a white male. What the do you care? And you're a black woman. You know what? I'm a woman. I'm further down the chain than you, so it don't matter. It's too bad you think that. Whatever. You keep that little gremlin away from me. Karen here isn't happy about the price of detergent and is ready to make it this poor manager's problem. 
corporate he office phone number and you just told me right that if I don't want to wait, I can leave. Is that what you just said? You can wait on me to talk to you. And it, I said my time is important as hers and I was here before her. Step right here. We'll take care of it. Take no, you can step right, right here because this is where I was and you walked off while I was talking Thank to you. Him. We've got people to wait on. If you'll get right there, I'm going to focus just on you. Right over here. 800 39 390 40. Okay. Right over here. 390 40. Someone got That's this off the shelf. That's not my problem. I cannot sell I it. I picked up this that was put item. On it was priced not once, but twice. Customer, and I'm not going to sell it to you that price. I'm not. Okay. Then get your corporate office on the phone because when you no, price something you incorrectly, call, you have to, do to it. pay Somebody for it. Somebody put that on there. That's not my problem. And it's not the only one Man, that was I'm not going to sell it to you. You call the 800 number that's on my hour time. No, I asked for your everyone. area number. Your that's area director, Aiden. She Hush. is out of town today. It doesn't matter. She has a cell phone, and that cell phone is public yeah. knowledge. Yes, it yeah. is because I'm not I applied give you for cell you guys. Phone number. If you don't want this, we're done. Hey, Alana. If you don't want it, we're done. If you want to call the corporate number, it's on that right there. Someone got a sticker and put it on there, and I'm not going to sell that at that price. That sticker was put on there by somebody else. And the only person that has the sticker guns to put it on there is your employee. No, that was cool and that is No, it was not. And that's not the first time I've come in here and you all have had something on that clearance rack that is priced incorrectly because your other manager, the little girl that has the blonde hair, before she was demoted, I come in here and I got 17 items off of there and every one of those 17 items was priced incorrectly. So don't tell me it doesn't happen because it does. And then for you to be as disrespectful to walk off while I'm in the middle of a conversation with Do you, you because of something that you all did incorrectly did to help another customer is bad customer service. Someone else put that on there. And, we're not and then I'm that. asking you for your area manager's number and you're refusing to give it to me. That's exactly and if right. I call the corporate office, they're going to give it to me because they're going to say you have to go through the area, the chain of command. You're going to have to call the then corporate call office. The call the number. Ma'am, I've seen you in here before. I shop in here a lot, and I never have a problem. So for me to have a problem today, then that's an I've issue. I've seen you with type of situation in here before. You are a liar. I remember. You're a liar because every time I come in here, half the time you're so incoherent, you don't even know what you're doing. And when you do know what you're doing, and you ring We're me up, we have no problems. I remember you from the last time we had a conversation. The last you time were we were wanting to do some things that we couldn't do. And what was those? What were those things? What were those things? Please remind me. Okay. What you're going to need to do. Is no. What you're going to need to do is give me hey, your area manager's phone, phone okay. number. Ring Move out of the way. You should check on this side right over here, ma'am. I'm not kidding with you. Leave my store. Call the police. Leave my store. You need me to call them for you? Mama. Do you need me to call them for you? Listen, you're not going to be a smart ass today. Uh, you just call me a smart ass? I said you're not going to be one. What gives you the right to call me a smart ass? I'm not calling you one. I'm telling you, you you're not going to be one. You just said it and you're being recorded. So I have proof that you just called me a me. smart ass. No, I didn't. I said you're not going to be one. No, you said you're not going to be a smart ass. That's what you say. I said you're not going to be one with me, and I'm calling them right now. Good. Because you're refusing please. to leave my store. Please do. Please do. I need you. Hold on just a minute. I need you to send an officer by my store. I have an irate customer that refuses to leave the store after being ordered. Now he's a liar. I'm the manager, Mr. Hughes. Mm -hmm. I don't care what he's Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. What's worse than one Karen? Two, as this video proves. Excuse are you me? kidding? Stop. Excuse I me. Oh, I, I don't know who you are, but you're pretty damn rude. <laughs> and they got ugly children that are weird looking. Oh my goodness! <laughs> children that scream. Like, we've seen that middle one. Like he's out in the middle of the yard just for no reason. He just starts screaming. I mean, he may Sheila, I have never met anyone.
That is so rude. Somehow this Karen doesn't seem to understand that playing on somebody else's property constitutes as trespassing. Who's gonna tell her that she can't play here? He does not live here. Shut up! He's got nothing to do with you. He's then shut up yourself you. and get off of our driveway. Get up. out of here. Go home. Go home. Go home. I've been home. playing in this driveway since before you moved in. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. No, home. you haven't. I have. Whatever, girl. Go home. Carolyn, 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 call the cops because this is ridiculous. You're harassing me. <laughs> We're harassing her, but yet she's in our our house. Right, right. Just keep telling your twisted lies. Whatever. We have a legal right to live here. Huh? We legally I'm live here. You don't. It doesn't matter. We live here. We live here. Garage door with the ball. Yes, you did. You're so worried about your kid. Why don't you get over there and take care of him? Yeah, I do. Shut up. That's why you're over here. That's why Shut you're up. over here screaming. Shut up. No. Shut up. No. I'm defending myself. Ah. Go home. Ah. Door ah. And you start because up. we live here. You hit the garage no. door. No. no. Yes, you, you did. Are Just crazy. enough. Yes, we are crazy, girl. We are so crazy. You don't even know. I cannot wait till you get a big Whatever. Let, let's see that happen. You want my lawyer's we phone will. number? We will. Want my lawyer's phone we number? It. Yes. We will. No, okay. Before that happens. I can't wait till CPS comes and gets your ass. To this neighborhood. Oh. You're an embarrassment to this Yes. And I've got we're videos. You're an embarrassment. Yeah. I don't care what you've got. You're delusional. Okay. We're the ones that are delusional. We have all the she lives over here. Kevin seemed to hate all fun, and this one is no exception. He seems to suck the joy out of even a remote control car. You're on your neighbor's lawn. Well, she never said anything to me. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I was talking you know to you. Right to I was talking to you. Lawn. I was talking to you and got distracted. Yeah. Yeah, what did she? 30 pounds? Mm hmm. 30 pounds at yeah. 80 miles an hour. Yeah, and like I said, she never yeah, said anything to me. Yeah, I got a little me. background in physics, and I can do that. She never said a thing to me Easily about it. kill a small child. Well, it's not, gonna, it's not going to kill here. anybody. You run around here. There's little tons of empty parking lots around here. Why don't you go to them? Okay. A lot of closed down stores. We don't need a tall animal. Actually, going you're, around. you're being an asshole animal, actually. Yeah, I'm You've telling been threatening you and what a mean. lot of us think. All you have to do is ask me nicely. Yeah. That's it. Ask me nicely. Yeah, well, you were over here with your smaller one intimidating my dog when you first moved Nobody in. knows. that I never intimidated anybody. Yes, dog. you did. Somehow this crazy neighbor Kevin tries to accuse his poor neighbor of stealing his stuff. How could you live next to that? Go back up to your house where you belong. You won't step foot on this property or else I'll yeah. beat your ass. Get the f off our property. What did I steal? You stole my the wire off of the trees over here. What the hell are you even talking about? What wire? Chicken wire, you d ass. I don't even know what you're talking about. You're the dumb. I know what I'm talking about. No, you don't, because I haven't You been stole the wire. Ain't off nobody me. been on your f property. God I know which one it is. You shot on my birdhouse over here too. Birdhouse. Oh, we shot a birdhouse. What? We shot a birdhouse? Yeah, you did. You you guys are you but guys are coming up with some pretty good stories. Over here, you trespassed on my I property and you even, even picked even up like the pieces. You at all? And I ain't been on your property, and neither is my kid. This Karen deserves the worst customer service ever. How can she treat someone who's only trying to do their job like that?
The level of entitlement of this Karen is crazy. She believes that she can steal other people's property and get away with it. What a joke. This lady just stole my charger and won't give it back. She's saying that I have to prove that it's mine and she's calling the cops on me right now. That they're gonna beat me. She said we're gonna beat her? Yeah, in the central park. She's lying. You know that's illegal no, now, right? Really so close to me and they're already touching me. That's not your property. That's mine. Yeah, it's so give it back. It's not your. She's, you have to prove it. I'm not saying I'm not going to give it to you. You have to prove that this is yours. You know, what are you talking I, about? Ma'am, they don't let me. There are two girls and they're surrounding me and they're threatening me that they're going to beat me or something. Do or something. You're lying. You're a liar. That's on 170 something. That's in front of the queue of the information. Are you racist? They don't let something? me to go. Yes, I am. I prefer my race to any race. What's your problem? Find something. Okay. I find something in the middle Where's of the police. Where's the police? And then Actually. these two kids have come and say that this is theirs. I think that's the US is right. I'm going to break it and hear you on a second. Girl, break it. I'm going to beat it and you're not going to be that happy. Your highness should come down. Take my property, give it back. I'm gonna throw it away, but maybe something you haven't paid for it. Your daddy paid for it, or your sister paid for it. Maybe you I'm not very good dog. What are you doing? Do not about? discuss with me. What? Do not discuss with me. Are you ready? When Karen is kicked out for shoplifting, she definitely doesn't know how to go quietly. I'd hate to have this type of woman in my work. You mean a Nigerian boy, and you know what the f she did was wrong? She damaged my body, she bruised my arm. You don't want to miss what happens when someone tries to confront their Kevin neighbor. They've got the right to be where they're at. They're not. I ain't, I ain't saying nothing about that. Okay. But they, uh, they, 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 they ain't speak over here. No, they, and nobody, yeah, yeah, nobody, yeah, nobody yeah, said anything yeah, 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 to you at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. You no, you're a liar you know, and a coward. Fight. You're a liar and a coward, and I hate liars and I hate cowards, so if you want to call that hate speech, that's fine, but it wasn't racially based, it wasn't against your gender, sexuality, or any other protected class of <laughs> that we use to speak. We did not speak against you in any of those ways that are defined by law, so therefore, you can call being attacked for your wicked character hate speech if you want, but you lack the morality and the common sense to be able to distinguish what hate actually is, you know, better would, yet, what hate speech actually is. Judge, a judge would not go down right now. <laughs> you won't believe how this Karen is completely shut down at Walgreens. It's insane. I think she's being polite. Oh, maybe. She's just tired of listening to you as well. I bet she is, but she should go. She's in line. Definitely. Ma'am, I need your ID. Yeah, I will put my phone number in. I just need your ID. I can and put my can phone put number in. Everybody ID. gets ID'd. Mine my gets scanned number? every time I'm here. I can put my phone number in right now for you. I'm a lot younger than you. I will definitely do it. And I don't know, I care if you know who I am either. I don't give a Facebook's about to know. Karen. Have a great day. You did Donald Trump there. Yes, I What's your name? There's nothing in here for you to ring out. I have America's Fastest Platinum. I bet that's it. You have enough. no product in there because you've given me no ID. Karen, what's your matter. last name? I have a f***ing American Express card that's platinum. That. There is no product run in without an ID. You want to, you want to have it. Do you want to give me an ID? You know what, give me a manager. 
She is the manager. Oh, I don't believe it. I'm here every day. I have to show my ID every day. Just Who the hell you? are you? I'm not Karen. Ma'am, great. Okay, here's the deal, or I will call the police. Okay? You need I to leave. This is going to do you no good. That's a very valid card. Ma'am, there's okay. no Put in your person in because you won't give me your ID. Okay, I'll give you my ID right here. Here you go. That's all we had to do. Here you go. All we had to do. There, there you, go. you go. Thank you. I don't mind. Now you can put your platinum. Yes, platinum. Thank you. Cool. It's a platinum. We're all in front of you. You don't know anything about. You look very rich. You do. I, yes, I'm rich. Mm -hmm. you I look am. It. I am rich. I like your stuff. Yeah, You're done. thank you. Your nappy hair. Yeah, it's really rich. You're done. Remove your card. Thank you. Platinum. Something you've never seen. Bye, Karen. Yeah, it's really heavy too. Bro. Facebook like is gonna really love fun. you. Have a great day. You just made. You just made. Uh, I don't care. Mm. I don't care. Bye. I don't day. even tell you bye. Fuck <laughs> off. Oh. You'll sleep with me. Right? I forget what you I even came in for. Karen here doesn't seem to realize that delivery drivers have a job too, but watch how she tries to stop them. I call 911. Why you okay. park here? Why? We do delivery here. I don't care. The lady, the manager let us. Uh, I'm, my, I pay for this pay. Okay, me too. For what? For the truck. I don't care about you. Manager said to wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. You crazy. You're crazy. You cray cray. Girl, you cray cray, girl. Move your car. You, thre you threw my stuff. Excuse me. You threatened if me. If you will not uh, take my picture, I will. No, I you. call him. I'm I will calling. you in your company. College years are meant to be the best years of your life, but not when a Karen lives next door. We didn't say. You're black. Yeah, that's what you think, huh? That's what you think, huh? That's what you think, huh? You, think, huh? you know you're miserable living in your own hell because you mess with people every day. No. Nobody said nothing to you. No. You didn't say you've been talking with me. For I don't even six know. Weeks. weeks. Then get the weeks? fuck off my property. I'm not on your property. I'm not talking. I'm, not, I'm on his property. He doesn't you own this him. property. Okay, just so you know, he's a renter, just like you. Wow. So, get the Wow. Wow. Come and ask me. Wow. I'm sick of your You're done. You'll be moving out because I know you're Bet your life. Bet your life. Yeah, that's your life too, motherfucker. Why don't you learn the And this is when she sprayed you. And then this is the video of when we were talking to her. Uh, she she called on you too. I'm not even gonna talk to her. I'm just gonna start her. Who's going court over there? Yeah, I am. Hey, like, and if you want to verify any story, the neighbors What's outside that? moving, they heard yeah. everything. And then yeah. the, 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 I was dealing with this lady well. way before any of you guys were here. Like, yes, I've been dealing with this lady so long. I'm so annoyed. For yeah. some reason, she can't get along with anybody. Yes, sir. You know? So yes, sir. It's, it's really annoying. How do we, how do we get to like file an official report? Yeah, I'm there is going to be a report. I'm arresting her. So, okay. Okay. Um, I mean, it's not like a take her to jail arrest. Yeah, yeah, I go yeah. back, I do paperwork, she gets it in the mail, and I'm going to subpoena you. I just sent it to this address here. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And you're Elijah, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, I'm just going to send it um, to you and uh, yes, sir. come tell your story. Yes, sir. Maybe she'll stop. Because like we're just at this point like it's just yeah. harassment like yeah because we're not even like we're literally not even doing anything and she's she's telling the story that she's telling him in the morning is oh yeah. you can't park here because there's going to be storms and we don't want the yeah. trees to fall on it she, but then as yeah. i'm walking by and i'm asking her i said why you why you pr pressure wash my uh my roommate's car she says because he can't park here this isn't his parking like you're that upset with us and you get to calling us racial names like we would at least I didn't think that Kevin with Road Rage could get any worse, but you won't believe how this clip takes it just one step further. Get in your car! Look at this. Look at this. Hang on, I gotta get this license plate. Get in your Pointed car! Pointed a gun at me. Look at this. You're going right, I'm going right to the This Karen exhibits a whole new level of shitty behavior when she refuses to pay a contractor for his work, and you won't guess her reason why. Okay, and 
and we talked about how heavy it was. So don't talk to me about disrespect. What would you do? Um. If you want to take your shit and get the fuck out of here, you can. Because I'm tired of you. Wow. Wait till okay. the end. Apparently, the way I got your husband on video talking to you like that on the phone earlier. It's going all over the internet. You're, so? Yeah, that stuff, type of stuff is ridiculous. You got, you think you can rob me of 3000 bucks? This should have been $10,000 in labor. Really? I would not take a square of that for $5,000? Are you crazy? No way. This was your that plan. Was not worth $5, people, $5, people like you are ridiculous. Do you realize I will come back and we're going to take everything because I have the receipts for it? It's mine. It's not yours. What's going on, he's Watch this Kevin try to play the victim when he's confronted on vandalizing a local landmark. Crocodile tears or explanations won't get you out of this one, Kevin. That is a really bad thing to do. Are you kidding me? Dude, it, Look it's Look at every inch of this wall. It's like throwing a tire into the river. It's like Compound. throwing a tire. Do you understand this is sandstone and in like 40 years it'll be gone because I'm not even going that deep? 40 years. We are local. Have you ever been to Rock House? We've been everywhere. 1881, 1857, all the way to present so day. So you just said 40 years of people it's come gone. from all over the place can't carve well, into sandstone. That's okay. We know the ranger. He's down here, Tim Archer. Okay. So. What's your name, sir? Sounds good. None of your business. Thank you. And I appreciate you not talking to me anymore. Thank you. Move I'll on. stand here and talk because if I'm free to be here, you are to too. Listen, it's very Thank shameful you. that you're doing that and you you're teaching youth to do so. Watch what happens when this Kevin is confronted while being at work. I'm surprised he didn't use one of those cars to escape. No. Okay. You don't have a general manager here. No manager. I'm a manager. But You're I'm a manager. manager. Okay. So why? Sure. No problem. I'm just really curious how you guys run a dealership here, kicking people out when they come here on their lunch break to look at cars because they're not exactly interested well, in buying a vehicle here. It doesn't matter where I'm parked at. I'm just curious. Okay. The guy speaks broken English, and he came here to look for a vehicle. Okay. So why did you kick him well, off the property? We asked him for help. He didn't want help. He's looking at vehicles. What's the well, problem? The problem is he's not shopping for vehicles. He's not shopping for That's a vehicle. That's what he said. He's not ready to purchase a vehicle. Sir, where you he speaks at? English. Sir, uh, where broken you English. At? I apologize. Where are you parked at? I'm just curious what the where problem is. Where are you parked is. at, sir? Can I get your general manager? You he's not here. Can I get his business I'm card? I'm going to call the police and have you removed if you don't ask Because I'm person. asking for a general manager's you're business card. You're being abusive and you're raising I'm not being abusive. I'm, I'm asking, asking a question. Where your vehicle is at, sir? I'm asking for a business card. Okay, well, the Auto Max is a phone number. You can call here anytime you want. Okay, I'll just call corporate then. That's not That's a problem. Fine. That's not, that. that is not. Karen here is a whole new level of selfish. She won't wear a mask to protect others for her own reasons. Come on, Karen. We all have one to wear. You're not special. Just asking you to please place a face mask on for the protection of everybody in the I hotel said, for the state ordinance that's posted I'm not right out front. Over my protection. And the state ordinance. Okay. I'm just, you I'm just asking. Is if I'm not handicapped, okay. which I am. So we're, we're a hotel. We are allowed to refuse service to no, anybody. Not. Yes, not we are. To, not, you can't go above ADA guidelines. Miss, we're allowed to refuse service no, to not. anyone you if you're refusing to wear a mask. Here. Please, we're just asking if you can just cover your no, face. I'm not covering my guy's mouth. If you can just cover your face, no. your mouth. No. Something so we can check no, you in, please. Not for you to be comfortable. I have a horizon. When this Karen doesn't get her way in the store, watch how she tries to turn the tables. You can park. Why? I'm taking your car. What? No, no, you can't take my car. This is my car. You can't take my car. What are you doing, dude? It's my Oh now. my god. Karen seemed to believe that kids living with autism shouldn't be given the same treatment as everybody else, and shouldn't be allowed in restaurants. I'd hate to think why she feels that she has this sort of power. I'm an autistic child at the table. I'm sorry. This is not the place. This is okay. Taking a picture of me? I'm taking a video. Yes, ma'am. Oh God, oh. you're wrong. I'm wrong Take for taking stuff. children. Oh, Watch how this Karen films herself having a meltdown, all because she doesn't agree with the mask mandate. Come on, Karen, just put on a mask. 
just at CVS and a man that doesn't even work for CVS wouldn't let me in the door and he threw me out the door. He doesn't even work for CVS. He wasn't wearing one of their shirts. What the f***? Anderson Cooper paid this man to make me angry. They're not letting me buy things to hydrate myself. I want to buy some tea. F*** you, America, for making me live like this. What the f*** is wrong with everyone? They said I'm not allowed to buy anything. What the f***? Road rage does terrible things to people, but the way it makes this Karen act is next level. Hey, cool. Yeah, and you threw stuff out my car. You're acting like a You literally brake checked me, tried an accident. You have a one year old in a car, but you're trying to cause an accident? You tried causing an accident? I have everything on video too. Yeah, congrats. Yeah, you tried ramming into me. You tried ramming into me. Yeah, you tried ramming into me, cutting me off. Break checking me. You tried it. You threw stuff out my car too. Yeah, you threw it out my car. I got it all on video. Keep on lying. We'll take it to the police. We'll take it to the police. Keep on lying. Yeah. Keep on lying. We'll take it to the police. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Karen here doesn't seem to realize that road closures apply to her. Watch what happens when she ignores them. You won't get out. The police. I'm going very slowly. I'm going very slowly. I can't get out. You can't get out anyway. It's close. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm a police I, listen, you're no, breaking the, the law. I have tried to get out every it's which way, but well, you're just going to have to wait here. I have a workshop in Oakhampton. I have had no road information road. at what time I need to Don't be so stupid. Don't be kill someone. I wait very slowly. Don't you move. Stay there. Well, you can find the workshop. I have tried every which way to get out. I went very, very, very slowly. I didn't know what time I was supposed to be out of. I knew this was happening. See, listen, I'm disabled. I find it hard. I've got a workshop in Oakhampton. I'm supposed to pick someone up already. So what am I supposed to do? When am I supposed to be out by? Six o'clock in the morning? Well, what the hell? It takes me a long time to get ready. Oh. I'm right to the council. Yeah, you right to the council. I will because we've had no information at all. Kevin here doesn't like the fact that this park ranger has authority over him and he'll do anything he can do to undermine him. I don't need a radar to tell him to go on over five miles per hour, bud. Dude, just get out of the park. I'm trying. Your friend shouldn't have gone up. Dude, get out of the park. I'm trying to. I don't care about your friend. Dude. I really don't care who your dad is, but good for you, bud. Write it. Write that shit down. Hey, tell him how fast I was going too. About four miles an hour. Look at this dude blocking me off because he lost my friends in the gate. Watch Kevin have a meltdown, all because someone didn't say thank you to him. I think he'll need to find a new Starbucks after this. I didn't see nothing today. I'm asking for... He's talking about something that happened last year, okay? I'm talking about today. I purchased a cup of coffee today, and all I expect your employee to do is say thank you. And okay, and for you to be, for, he did not apologize for that. You're lying. You're lying. He didn't say thank you, and you're lying. You wasn't even around when I when he was served me. You're being very argumentative and completely unprofessional. You're being very. This is my evidence. Okay. Because you're not allowed. Technically, you're not allowed to film people. This is. This is. I'm gonna have to call security right now. You can call security. This is my evidence. I'm going to submit to Starbucks. Twice You're talking about something that happened last year, okay? Okay, I complained about you last year, okay? Okay, okay. you're very unprofessional. You shouldn't be working here. You shouldn't be working here. You shouldn't be working here, man, with that type of attitude. Are you racist or something? Towards black people? Right? 
a very simple, all I ask is a very simple courtesy is to say thank you. Okay, when I spend my money in any business, I ask this guy to say thank you when I buy my cup of coffee, and he, they, refuse, they want to make an issue out of this. Okay, they want to make an issue out of, uh, today I bought some coffee today, and all I ask these guys, anywhere I go, to, every Starbucks that I go to, they always say thank you. I feel sorry for the gas station attendant who had the unfortunate luck of dealing with this Karen and her meltdown. Whoa, Kevin, you need to watch out because in this clip your racism is showing. No. So who's going to- No, you're from another country. All right. So you should, when you come here, yeah. you should be kind of grateful that we allow you to come here. Oh, really? So you work. You allowed me to come here, right? If you went back to your own country, yeah. you know the way things would be, wouldn't you? Where's my country at? <laughs> Do you know where I was born and raised? I don't really give a f Yeah. When this Karen gets karma served to her on her flight, you don't want to know how she reacts. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say it again. Everyone needs to stay seated. You know what? Put your hands on me. Okay, you just hold her in. Put your hands on me. I will not. No, sit down. I will not. I will not. Put your hands on me. I will not. Uh -huh. God bless you. God bless you. No, don't touch him. Stay seated, please. No, you need to get her off this plane. Can I have you please stay seated? Let me get her off this plane. Can confirm she called her a racial slur. Can you can you confirm that? Can you confirm that? Thank you. Hey folks, I'd like to take a quick update here. We got to return to the gate real quick to take care of a uh, situation. <laughs> this Karen will do anything for a McDonald's order, and she's ready to take Entitled to a whole new level. Take a look. Lady climbs through McDonald's window because we're not taking any more orders, cuz. She's not playing, she wants to make her own food. This Karen has a completely unjustified freakout when this girl parks next to her boyfriend's car. I'd hate to know what she'd do if someone spoke to him. Can nobody park in a parking lot next to your boyfriend's Get car? Get out of my spot. This isn't- Don't park next to my boyfriend. Are you crazy? Are you insecure? Are you crazy? I know you not just say that to me. <laughs> what is your problem? Get out of my parking spot. You're parked next to my boyfriend. Are you okay? Are you this Karen really isn't a fan of trash on the road, and she's ready to argue with anyone who thinks she's wrong. Is your trash cans out there? Yeah, the trash cans were yesterday, so they can't be out there on the street anymore. Yeah, the street is public property, and it's depreciating my home. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to come out here and move them, okay? Yeah. My daughter works for the DMV. I'll be calling the governor, okay? Do you know him, Ron DeSantis? Mm -hmm. what your daughter have to Crazy Karen here is attempting to be on her neighbor's land, but her neighbor has got other plans. Your property. I will stay away from the fence, but this is not your property and it is not your place to come and yell at me. If the city has a problem, the city can deal with me. I don't know why you're so aggressive. Because I've seen people do... Am I people? Foolish, I have... Foolish what people? Who? All these. And you just decided today you're going to yell at the young woman with tattoos that is behind her home that she's lived for a year? That is not fair. Okay. What I did is not fair. I should have come down and talked to you. You should have. And I'm like really disappointed you would treat a neighbor that way. It's shocking, honestly. I've lived here for a year. I've lived here for 60 years. I understand. Right. 
Good job. Well, then you should probably have a relationship with the city and you can get me kicked out of here if it's such a big deal. And while you're at it, why don't you do it to them too? I don't understand. This Karen seems to have too much time on her hands, since she can waste her time harassing her neighbor. Can she I yeah. just called the police. And, um, can you stop harassing us, please? Because they're not harassing you. Like, you're you're not, you want to see what your side like of my car person? looks like? Because you park your fucking car here and you're not supposed to. Dude, she just came from work. She's unloading and she's leaving. She no, doesn't that car here. was here this morning when I left. It was not. She had there to work. No parking. parking. You know how bad the parking is here. That's why we're supposed to park in the street. There, there, there is no parking. parking. The well, street. then you walk down a ways and park, and don't Wait, be so lazy. It wasn't even there because they closed. You know it. what? You it's know what? It's not laziness. I, I should, I should have somebody just bring your car, just scrape the whole side of it you know i feel like you're harassing us right now don't the way be you're surprised knocking on my daughter, i don't really appreciate that i don't give a shit what you, well, you need to give a shit because, no i don't the what, homeowners have sent you notices you know, over I'm, and you know, over and over again do you have something I have personal pictures. against us because the whole neighborhood parks their car and i have pictures of that your, is not true of your car in front of your house do you want me to yeah for you? 10 minutes 15 no, minutes no, it was overnight. there overnight well, you know what it's going to be here overnight i don't care it's That's gonna be house. here I and i've care. told the police you never, they're coming out i never come to you and harass you but it's always you that have problem no you have something everybody else in this neighborhood okay everybody else parks no they don't parks. nobody else parks yeah, yeah she parks do. her car in front of her house for about 15 minutes no, she does that at night time well you better move it and you did it overnight we'll wait till move the cops it. come here and then i'll move it move it you know move what don't come knock on my door anymore come. Karen's and cars are the most dangerous combination in the world, especially when the driver had road rage like this. Right here, like look that? at her. Yeah. She cut me off. Yeah. I have mentally challenged. Oh, both. I get your hands off me. Whoa, you're she's trying liar. to assault me. Back you're up. You're a liar. Get your hands off me. I got yeah. clients in here. You need to back up. I'm going to call the police you on go you. go right ahead. This, you call the police because I'll tell them what look, you did. She pulled out through there and yeah. passed us, and look now she's putting did. her hands on me. Why did you stop? I didn't do anything. You're flying. Why you need to didn't chill you out. stop? I did. You're No, you out. did not. You pulled right that, out. No, ma'am. You yes, were flying you up did. that hill. We were I there well before. I saw you. I saw you cut off a van full of clients, you're you crazy. You're supposed to stop right. for people. You need to chill right. out. Why did he stop at that stop sign? I think the cops are on the way because she probably called. Why did he stop we at the stop sign? We did stop. Line. You were flying. No, you did not. You need to get your vehicle your out of the way. Your pulled right no, out. No, did not. Yes, you, you are did. flying and acting like a maniac. Yeah. And our clients need to be safe. You're supposed to have These waiters' reactions deserve a medal for the way they dealt with these two Karens. Take a look. The Lord no. I understand that you should be aware of your neighbors, but when they're like this, Karen, maybe you should rev your engine. We're leaving right now. We're leaving right now. Sorry. Are you aware of the most neighbors? Yeah. Yeah. We're leaving right now. Sorry. But that's meant for the rest of the Yeah. Can you turn that down, or is, it, is this the loudness of your car? This is the loudness, but I usually don't park it here, so. You do. I hear you. I live right here. I hear you every morning. I hear you every morning. Not every morning, though. No. Like a once lot. or twice a week, yeah. A lot, and it's scary, the sound. Yeah, you just scared the out of my cat. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. We'll park like somewhere further down next time. But this car usually you, reside. Are you, is he filming right now? Yeah, I, I run like a YouTube channel, yeah. What are you filming for? What's that? Why is he filming? I run a YouTube channel, so right. we film like okay. everything we do, so. It's just a loud car. Sorry. So what should we do? All the neighbors are complaining. So this car usually is parked in Ply Vista. I'm talking about the noise. The noise. It's unbearable. Okay. Why is everybody complaining? It's not even nine o'clock on a weekend. Yeah, that's why we're leaving right now, so. I get it. I'm not talking about parking or leaving. I'm so talking what, about the sound. I mean, there's nothing we can do about the sound. 
That's just But then you, <laughs> there's something you need to Karen here seems to have anger issues, and I don't think the bins deserve to have to deal with Karen's tantrums. You have no right to put your rubbish can in here. See that? You have no right to attach no. it to my tree. This isn't your tree, this is our yard, and you're you're you trespassing right now by being in this yard. So I'd you like you have no right to put a lock on my tree, you little piece of shit. This isn't your tree, this is our yard, and you're in our yard. How would you know? You rent this You see that, you see that fence? See that fence there? Watch how Karen seems to believe that she has the right to lecture another person, but you need to hear her reason why. It's insane. We lifted the mask mandate, so... Uh, I just wanted to tell you before someone else tells you that the way you're walking around with it on like when no one even knew you, it kind of makes you look like you think you're like better than everyone else. When this Kevin is caught in the wrong, he takes the situation from zero to a hundred, all over being filmed. Smile, Kevin, you're on camera. Filming, eh? yeah. You f***ing start running to me, then you start filming. You were you were you you face him yeah, apart. You. Get out the car and throw some punches. Come on, a 50 year old man, come on, and I'll knock the f out of you. All right. Knock the living f Christ out of you. Yeah. You fat f Get out of the Jimmy. Touch me again. That's hot. Yeah, that's all. Bike. Come on, mother. Get out the car. You need to relax. And get back ah! I tell me to relax when you need to f stop. Kevin here needs to learn that this isn't the ideal way to speak to someone who could potentially spit in your drink. I want her job taken. I don't know who she thinks she's talking to, but that ain't acceptable. Yeah, I'm gonna have a conversation with her. Cause you got a fucking line in the road, and there's no one in front of me. Yeah, I'm gonna come inside. Yeah. No, I wanna place my in order. Large iced coffee, six and six, and a medium iced coffee, four and four. This Kevin will do absolutely anything to get his chicken, even if it pisses the servers off even more. Allowed to refuse service, so I'm gonna tell the owner you're f losing money because we want to make a big order of food. Give me the f***ing chicken, or I'm gonna cause a scene. Get your owner here. You're gonna lose money and get fired. We ordered food, and you wanna refuse it. Look at you. You're telling me you're not being rude. No, we weren't. You yeah. give me my chicken. I came 30 miles to get a chicken. Your chicken. You. Give me my chicken. I drove 30 miles to get my chicken. This Kevin tries to flex his job to a fast food worker. He really shouldn't be surprised if someone spits in his food. Excuse me. Seven twelve. Did I order? We ordered That's right. two sides of tartar sauce. Okay, what's what I said? One. We ordered two sides of tartar sauce and chapel sauce. So. I'll walk the other side. Okay. You'll have to Let the grown man earn his minimum wage, Scott. I made more than that. I missed that. Scott, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna have Scott, I'm gonna have Scott. I make 35 bucks an hour. I'm gonna have you escort from the store. Why don't you go f***ing yourself? Don't come back to my store. Your store! Don't come back to my store. Get out. Get out, white trash. Get out, white trash. Get out, white trash. This group of Karen and Kevins aren't crying over spilt milk, they're just assholes. Take a look. You won't believe what this Karen retaliates with when she's confronted for her bad parking. You here because you can't drive. You see, you cross the line. I cross the line. You don't know a damn thing. Go back to China where you belong. Chinky, chinky China lady. Chinky, chinky China lady. We don't. You know what? You give them. You give the people a bad name here. We hate you, people. Go back where you belong. 